All right, here we are again, exposing more lies. Um, I'm really tired of this stuff because uh, it's about involving my daughter's privacy. And I'm the father, and I will continue to fight for what's best for them. So I'll just wait for a second as things load on here, people load on here. And then we're going to discuss, because this is getting ridiculous. It's like, how many lies can one person say, and you guys just continue to believe it? So we're going to talk about the truth, because that's all I've ever said on my page is the truth, whether it's related to the human body, or anything that's going on in my life, or anything else that's going on in social media. I don't lie. Right. Nobody will trash your name more than somebody that's worried that, you tell, that you'll tell the truth. <clears throat> so yesterday, I went online and explained why my kids are not allowed, allowed online. In January of 2023, I put in a court order with family court that my kids are not allowed online. That's because I was seeing very concerning behavior, such as my daughter's naked vaginas being online, them running out into the street, possibly getting hit by cars, getting lost at parks, putting, get, putting their foots in garbage disposals, and being exposed to inappropriate behavior online. Okay? So that court order is still in effect. I have never put my kids online because when I, you put a court order, a blanket court order like that, it affects both parents. So in order to protect my children, I also punished myself in order to protect them. So what did she do in response to this? <clears throat> she made a grave, grave mistake. She posted court documents from Child Protective Services. That is a crime. Now those of you that are ignorant to the US system, and even I had to learn this through going through the system, Child Protective Services and Family Court are two different court branches. They are not, Child Protective Services is the highest, higher court in the land, and then there's family law. So any family law orders is different than CPS orders, okay? So yes, the, CP, the CPS case was closed, which she, which she posted the court, the court documents online which is actually a crime and a huge violation of my children's privacy, which is further proving that she doesn't give two shits about the kids. She only cares about making money and getting likes and views, okay? So yes, that, that court case was closed, but it had no bearing on any family court documents, family court orders. CPS cannot change family court orders. So nowhere in that document is it gonna say that you can post the kids online because CPS doesn't have the jurisdiction to do so, okay? And so this is, this is, lie, this is lying and manipulation tactics 101. You take, a, you take information out of context and you manipulate people to think a certain thing, okay? These are two separate things. And now I'm forced to file for emergency custody because she's further violating my kids' privacy and showing no, no, no desire to protect them. So it, it is what it is. Like I've been trying to co-parent in peace and this person has absolutely been um, <clears throat> um, lying and manipulating. And for her, it's all about public image. It's all about let's destroy him. She cares more about trying to destroy me as a human than she does her own daughters. She is a nasty, evil human being. Um, and that's just the truth. Many of you guys have seen it when she, when she cusses at you. So now she's making a GoFundMe. Good luck. That'll just backfire on her on court. Um, and truthfully be told, she makes fifty to $60,000 a month. So you guys are all going to be on here giving her money. And she's just going to pocket it. It's going to go in her pocket. And she's probably going to buy another house in Nigeria. Because that's obviously her escape plan. Because she obviously knows that she's not following the rules of the land. And she's just trying to bank out. She's just trying to cash out before she abandons the country and goes back to Nigeria. Which, by the way, was always her plan. Um, she told me throughout the marriage that eventually 
she wanted to go back to Nigeria and live, buy a house, that was her dream. Which I was like, okay, buy a house, maybe I'll retire there, but I have to work here. So, I'm gonna continue to tell the truth. They're gonna continue lie, spin, and manipulate. That's what, that's what people do. And because, because truly, truly there's no, there's no way for her to make any income without trashing me or using the kids. Her music is doing terrible. Um, which I pretty much funded and supported for her entire career. And now she's using very immature manipulation tactics by calling me Mr. Cora Obiddy. Your last, her last name is still Dean. We've been legally divorced for two years and she's still legally using my last name, her sponsor to get into this country. So, like calling me Mr. Obiddy when your last name is Dean, make it make sense. She'll just lie and say, my last name's Obiddy. Tell her to prove it. Show some document somewhere besides her Nigerian passport that her last name's Obiddy now. So I'm tired of this stuff. I'm standing up for myself. I'm standing up for my kids. I am telling the truth and nothing but the truth because the truth will set you free. And I'm being harassed for two years now for things that are not true. My kids are not going to be online. They're not, I'm, I will not allow them online. Ask this question. Facebook is required by law to follow court orders. If I send them the court order of the kids not being allowed online, they are required by law to take it down. And there you go. The, the videos are taken down. So, um, <clears throat> okay, there it is. It's the truth. And it is what it is. So this lying manipulation tactics is gonna backfire on her because she just committed a crime. She just posted sealed documents from a different court system that violates my kid's privacy. And I'm assuming that her address and my address are on there, which, which then further, I didn't look at it because I have, I have the court documents on my desk. Um, which further jeopardizes the, ki the safety of my kids. I'm getting death threats through emails and there's comments on her page saying, let's hire a hitman. So this has gone too far. Um, and I'm putting a stop to it right now. So you guys raise your money. None of that shit's gonna make any difference because California is a, an equal rights state. And if it wasn't, I would already have full custody. I have not been actively pursuing full custody. I have been trying to co-parent in peace and it's, it's impossible at this point. So violating my children's privacy is not okay. Posting, doc posting documents from a court system is illegal if it's child services. These are crimes used because she cares more about manipulating people to hate me and cover up her lies than she does protecting her relationship and her future with her own kids. So, raise your money. I'll go in there without a lawyer and win. Just like I've done at every single court case that's occurred so far. I have won every single thing, every single allegation she's ever brought against me. I have been able to prove that it's false and even after I prove that it's false and I win in court, she goes and perpetuates those lies online. And why? For money. I've already showed in the past how her income is up to $90,000 a month. This is all just a big game. This is all just a big lie fest so that I can emotionally manipulate people and with my acting skills to give me free stuff. And you guys all fall for it. So, I don't care what any of you think. The law's on my side, and the truth is on my side. So let her keep lying and manipulating. You guys, go support her. Go do, go, go do your toxic shit somewhere else. But this, this shit's coming to an end. I'm going to the courthouse right after this. Catch you later.